Good morning, my kindergarten friends. Welcome back to Kindergarten Math. I am so excited that you are here with me today to count and work some math problems. So do you remember what we started learning on Monday? That's right, we are counting, but we are not starting with the number one. We are counting on from any number other than one. So you know I like to start our day with moving, so I need you to stand up with me and we're gonna practice our counting on while moving, okay? So to begin, we're just gonna simply clap. Remember, when I give you the number, we have to pick that number up and put it in our head and start counting from that number. So our first number today is going to be six. When we pick up six and put six in our head, what is the next number that we are going to say? If you said seven, you are right. So let's pick up six, put it in our head, and start clapping as we count to 20. Are you ready? Let's go. Pick up six, put it in your head. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Great job, friends. You are really getting the hang of this. All right, now we are this time going to start with five. And let's tap our knees as we count from five to 20. So pick up five, put it in your head. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, awesome. All right, let's try another one. This time, let's do eight. And we are gonna tap our shoulders, counting from eight. Are you ready? Okay, pick up eight, put eight in your head. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good job. All right, let's try one more like that. This time, let's pick up nine and try to hop on one foot from nine to 20. Do you think that you can hop on one foot from nine all the way to 20? Let's see. All right, pick up nine, put it in your head. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, whoa, that was really hard. How did you do? Great job. Okay, now we're gonna move on and level this up. We are gonna start with some bigger numbers and count on to some bigger numbers. Do you think you can do that with me? Okay, this time we are gonna start with the number 12 and see if we can count on from 12 all the way to 30. Can you do it? Okay, this time we're gonna put it in our head and continue tapping our head. So let's pick up 12 and see if we can go all the way to 30. Let's do it. Pick up 12, put it in your head. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Awesome counting. We haven't counted on above 20 so far. So we are gonna really, next week, we're gonna be working towards counting to 100. So we've gotta get that practice in. Now, let's try starting with 23 and go all the way to 40. Do you think we can do that? But this time, we're gonna tap our nose. Are you ready? Let's pick up 23, put it in our head, and tap our nose to 40. All right, 23, put it in your head. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 
40. That was excellent. Do you think you could try a bigger number? Okay, this time we're going to do the twist. We're going to start with the number 36. We are going to pick up 36, put it in our head, and twist all the way to 50. Can you help me with that? All right, pick up 36, put it in your head. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Awesome job, guys. That's going to be getting us ready to count all the way to 100 in our lesson next week. So now that we've warmed up with counting on, do you remember our bees from last week? Can we be beekeepers today? Great. Okay, so I've brought my bees along with me. And remember, we have to use some of that imagination magic and turn our paper plate into a beehive. So can you help me use some imagination magic? Do you see the beehive? Very good. All right, so I am going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bees inside the beehive. Nine bees. You have to remember that number because I can't stick my hand back in there. I don't want to get stung. So can you remember the number nine? Thanks. All right, so now I'm going to lay out some more bees. And we are going to count on from, <gasps> what number was it? I don't want to stick my hand back in. Okay, it was nine. All right, so let's count on from nine. Nine, 10, 11, 12. How many bees do we have inside our beehive and outside of our beehive? That's right, we have 12. We counted on from nine to 12. Let's try that one again. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Great job, guys. All right, let's try a different one with our bees. This time, let's put one, two, three, four, five bees inside of our beehive. And let's count on, let me put some more bees out here, and let's count on from what number? Five, that's right. We've got to keep that five in our head. Are you ready to count with me? Let's go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many bees do we have? We have ten. Very good. We always recount to check our answer. So we're counting on from, oh, I don't want to put my hand in there. What is it? It's five. Let's go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent job. All right, let's do a few more like that. This time, we are going to count on from two. We put a few more bees out here, and let's count our bees from two. Are you ready to count with me? I'm going to touch and count. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many bees do we have inside and outside of our beehive? We have seven. Let's check. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. Okay, now let's try 10 bees inside our beehive. How many are there in there? 10. Good job. Let's count from 10. 10, 11, 12. Good job. Let's try that again. 10, 11, 12. 12. Very good. Let's try one more like that. This time I'm going to put seven bees inside of our beehive. Let's count on from seven. Are you ready? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do that one more time. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten bees. Very good job. All right, so I've brought some more things for us to count on with. I have brought some cubes. 
And these are the kind of cubes that we use in our classroom. But there are tons of things that you have at home that you can use to count on, like we talked about in our first lessons. You can use Legos, cars, toys, LOL dolls, or you can use items like food, cereal, M&Ms, um, jelly beans, all kinds of stuff. And sometimes it's really fun to count on with food items because then your grown up might let you eat a little snack after you're done. So I brought some playing cards from home. These cards are from the game Sorry. We love to play games at our house because it helps with our counting, our critical thinking skills, and it's just a really fun activity to do together at home. So I brought Sorry cards, but there's also Uno cards, regular playing cards. Just make sure that you take out all of the cards that don't have a number on them. And this is a fun game to play at home. So I'm gonna put my cards down I'm going to flip over a card, and then we are going to count all of our cubes, starting with that number. Are you ready to play with me? All right, let's begin. Our first number is 10. So we will be counting on from 10. Let's go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Great job, let's check that one again. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job, you ready to flip over the next card? This time it is one. How easy counting from one. Let's, let's try this one together. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's recount that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Awesome job. Let's flip another card. This what number do you think it's gonna be? It's Four. The number four, let's count on from four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Good job. Let's recount. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. All right, what number do you think we're going to flip over this time? It's the number five. Let's count on from five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's recount it. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Very good job. Let's try two more cards together. This time we have the number 10 again. Let's try counting from 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Recount. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, let's do our last card in the card game. This time we have the number two. You ready to count from two? Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's recount it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Awesome job, guys. So you can use any kind of playing cards that you have at home. Flip them over and make a game out of it 
counting on from any number, using some toys or objects or food that you have at home. If you don't have playing cards, I've brought a fun little dice popper that I got out of a game at home too. If you don't have a dice popper but you just have the dice, you can roll the dice or you can put it in any kind of clear plastic um, food container and shake it up or put it in a cup to help shake it up and make it a little bit more fun. So we're gonna pop the dice and count on from that number a few times. There's also a small dice in here. This is out of a Despicable Me game, so there's a little menu in there, but we're just gonna ignore that one for right now. All right, let's pop the dice. And it landed on the number six. Let's count on from six. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Good job, let's pop it again. And it's four. Let's count on from four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Let's pop it a few more times. This time it is five. Let's count on from five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Excellent job. Let's pop it two more times. Boop! Four. Let's count on from four. Are you ready? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, let's pop it one last time. What number do you think is going to come up? Let's see. Two. Let's count from two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is another fun way that you can practice counting on and make it a game at home. I'm going to show you one more way if you have a spinner at home. I also got this spinner. This came from the Game of Life, but lots of games have spinners. So we're going to spin for a number and count on by spinning. All right, let's spin and it lands on one. So let's count on from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Awesome. Let's spin a few more times. What do you think it's going to land on this time? It lands on 10. Let's count from 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Great job. Let's spin again and it lands on 9. Let's count from 9. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Good job. We're going to spin and it lands again on 10. Let's count from 10 again. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's do one more spin. Ah, oh, 10 again. Let's try another one. Two. You ready? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Great job, guys. So I hope that these ideas have given you a few ways to practice counting on at home. I know today is going to be a rainy day and some bad weather. So hopefully you have some of these game pieces at home and you can practice counting on and make a game out of it with your family today. So let's take a look at what counting on math problems would look like on paper. So I have on my piece of paper a number and then a dice. So we are going to count on these dots from the number that we were given, okay? So what number does our first problem start with? That's right, it's the number five. So let's count the dots 
from five. Remember, I always like to cross out when I count so that I don't miss any or I don't count one twice. So I'm going to count five, six, seven. So if I count on two dots from five, my answer is seven. So I'm going to put seven in the box. This time we're counting on from eight. Let's count on from eight together. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Awesome job, guys. So let's write 12 in our box. Very good. What number is this that we're counting on from? You're right, that's the number three. Let's count on from three. Three, four, five, six. Very good. Number six. And then what's our last number we're counting on from? That's right, it's also six. Let's count on together from six. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good job. And the, some of these numbers, like twelve and eleven, are new to us, but we are working on our teen numbers, so we're going to be counting into those numbers. Let's see what another counting on activity on paper might look like. This time, we have an addition sentence using a number and some objects. So let's count on from that number using our objects and crossing them off. We start with a two, three, four. Great job. So two plus two dots equals four. Let's try six. Six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent job. A circle and a line. That makes a nine. All right, we're counting on triangles from the number four. Four, five, six, seven. Good job. Across the sky and down from heaven. That makes a number seven. Awesome job. Now we have seven. We're counting on one triangle from seven. So seven, eight. Good job. How do we make an eight? My class likes to say make an S. And then up straight, that makes a number eight. Good job. And the last one is five with two stars. Five, six, seven. And we make our seven across the sky and down from heaven. That makes a number seven. Good job. Our last activity for counting on might look like this. It just has some numbers, and we have to fill in the missing numbers. So if we are starting with eight, let's count on. Eight, nine, 10, what goes here? 11, good job, let's fill in 11, 12, 13, and 14. Good job, let's try another one just like that together. We're starting with six. What number comes after six? What number is one more than six? That's right, it's seven. So let's start from the beginning. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and our last number is 11. Good job, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for today. So I want you to try some more problems like this and some of these games at home with your family today. Practice this counting on, and then next week, we will be learning to count all the way from 1 to 100 by 1s and 10s. So I'll see you then. Have a great weekend.